I like it actually. It tastes good though, right? Yeah, yeah it, it does add a lot of flavor. It's, it's just the so color sweet. that's like, oh, does it have enough? Does it not? But it tastes good. This is the color, but the flavor is really good. I quite like it. I would like it back. Thank you, yes. A couple of weeks ago, I was sent a package. Well, Anila YouTube was sent a package. My very good friends at Opportunities were kind enough to send me some samples of their organic coconut milk powder. Opportunities is a company that I've worked with before and they are the sponsors of this video. There are already so many things that I like about Opportunities. Their products are completely vegan, they care about the planet, but I think the thing that I love the most is probably the fact that this company was started by a family who wanted to change the course of someone's health. And that's what you can do through your diet. So I was really excited to get started. I began by putting this organic coconut milk powder in my coffee, which is what the package told me to do. Mmm, smells so Smell nice. Smell it, right? It's so amazing. They start like free flowing powdery. It's... Yeah, it, it's kind of sticky. Yeah. And it smell and it's made from 65% coconut oil. Sounds uh, good. You know, it reminds me a lot of the smell like my daddy, my grandma. She used to make her own coconut oil. It smells so much like that. How many scoops is that that you put? This one scoop. Ah, let's one. See. Still seems a bit like dark, right? Yeah. What do we do? Should we add more? I don't know. Are there instructions? <laughs> what does the packaging say? Mix is easier in hot drinks and cold. Clumping is normal because our powder is 65% coconut oil. Any such instructions, or you just uh, no as you wish type of thing? I I wish to add more. Let's wish. Now does that mean I need to put some hot water in it? Using this in your coffee does not make your coffee look like there's cream in it, but it kind of makes your coffee taste like there's cream in it. And after a little bit of stirring, most of the clumps did dissolve themselves. It really wasn't much of an issue. I do wish there were some guidelines as to how much to put in my coffee, but overall, I liked it. Hey Google, do you like coconut? I'd tell you if I knew. Do you know if I like coconut? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. The product also recommends that you use this powder in smoothies, and already I had a gut feeling that this was going to be a winner. I'm happy to say that it did not disappoint, and I do think that this is probably the best way to enjoy this organic coconut milk powder because when you blend it up, the clumping issue is completely irrelevant. And you know, if you're using this for your health, then you should have a smoothie anyways, because it's a great way to get a lot of nutrients packed into one easy beverage. All right, I digress. I don't think I've shared my absolute favorite thing about this product, and that is actually the smell. When you open up the bag, it smells like pure coconut. The smell is divine. The taste is really good too. I scooped some directly into my mouth. I'm not even ashamed to say that. And it was delicious. It had that natural sweetness that coconut tends to have. And I really like the flavor of coconut. Now, when I decided to make this smoothie, I realized that I had no banana and I usually put banana in my smoothie. I was worried that I would miss the banana, but using the organic coconut milk powder, actually, I didn't even miss the banana at all. I was just really enjoying that subtle hint of coconut that I got from it. It also occurred to me that there shouldn't be any reason why I wouldn't be able to use this in my cooking if it's really just powdered coconut milk. So there's a cabbage dish that I'm quite fond of. It's actually very simple. It's just braised cabbage, but I felt like adding a little bit of coconut, some creaminess to this dish might just elevate it. And I was right. I sliced up some cabbage. You could do this with a mandolin if you have one. And then I set my skillet over high heat, added some oil and some mustard seeds, curry leaves, a pinch of asafoetida, some whole coriander seeds. I just kind of let those spices roast a little bit in the oil till they release some of their flavors. And then I cut a green chili pepper directly into my pan, which is something I do all the time. I added my sliced cabbage to my pan, 
gave everything a gentle stir just to make sure that those whole spices are nicely incorporated with the cabbage while it cooks. And then I added some turmeric powder. I find it helpful to add a splash of water from time to time just if it looks like things are drying out. Normally it shouldn't because cabbage has quite a bit of its own moisture, but I think my pan was on really high heat and you know, if your food loses all of its moisture, that's actually how you burn your food. So I never want to be in danger of doing that. So I covered up my cabbage a little bit just to let that steam do its work. If you feel like it's already quite moist, you can actually cook this uh, fully open or with the lid kind of ajar. And when the cabbage was pretty nearly done, like, you know, 80% done, that is when I added the coconut milk powder. And now, having used it twice before, I felt pretty confident in my scooping as to how much I really wanted to add. I did a whole scoop and then just a little smidge more. That's a very technical cooking measurement, a smidge. And I combined it with the cabbage. I added a little bit of water because um, I thought that might help just to make the powder a little creamier, which it did. And then I gave it a taste just to see that my textures were coming along the way that I wanted them to and to check for the seasoning. I added a little bit of salt just to balance things out and that was it. This dish came out really well. I was quite impressed. So overall, I really enjoyed this product. I think that in smoothies is probably the easiest way to enjoy it. Cooking it in a dish like this also works really well and it imparts a very delicious flavor. However, I would hesitate to use it in my coffee or in a broth because of the clumping issue. Now the thing is, it's made from pure coconut, so it's going to clump and I understand and I'm not really hung up on it, but I see how that might bother someone else. I will continue to use this product until it's finished. I will continue to scoop it directly into my mouth when no one is looking and I had a great time. I really loved experimenting with this, trying it in all these different forms, and I'm thankful to opportunities for their generosity and for working with me again. All right, I'll see you next week with another video. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Bye-bye.